Hey church, we're looking at a season of miracles through the Bible and I want to read Luke chapter 23 verse 39 to 43. It says one of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at Jesus. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you're under the same sentence. We are punished justly for what we're getting for what our deeds deserve but this man Jesus has done nothing wrong and then he turned to Jesus and he said will you remember me when you come into your kingdom and Jesus answered him truly I tell you today you will be with me in paradise this has to be the greatest miracle there is it's the miracle of eternity a few weeks ago I spoke a message on the miracle of eternity, shared my story about uh, being at university, coming back, trying, scrambling around, searching around for meaning and purpose and fulfilment with the highest chief aim being enjoyment of life. And yet couldn't find the key. When after a year of university, I went to a church service and found myself responding to God and making a decision to turn my life around 180 degrees to live for him. And it was in that moment that I was to go on a journey to discover life in all of its fullness with purpose and meaning and answers and contentment. And if you've got that story, you'll know you had a pre-God you and a postcard you. You'll, you'll know the difference between that moment of decision, that moment where God found you, reached out in his grace and turned your life around. These two criminals on the cross, one either side of Jesus, one is turning away and goes to his death and yet the other one embraces Jesus and enters eternity. This is how close a miracle we are every day there are conversations around the cross that make the difference in eternity and i want to encourage you this morning first of all to make a decision at all times be full of gratitude for eternity that you have the hope the assurance of life beyond this life and I want you to thank God this morning. I want you to start your day with gratitude, thanking God, not only for a good life, but thank him for eternal life. And the second thing today, I want you to remember that every conversation today is just a moment. It's just a moment between someone walking away and someone embracing Jesus. There's moments and opportunities that all of us will have at different points in life that are those junction points. And I want you to be open-eyed, open heart, and be ready for the opportunities that God gives you. There could be a conversation today that brings someone their miracle of eternity, and you can be there at that moment. Let's pray and let's believe for a great day together. Thank God for the miracle of eternity. Jesus, we thank you. In Ephesians 2, your word tells us that we were dead. We were dead. And yet you found us and you made us alive. We've gone from spiritual death to spiritual life because you, by your grace, you reached out to us. We thank you, God, as we've turned our life 180 degrees and now live for you and follow you with you as number one. We pray we would look for opportunities where others might receive their miracle of eternity. Thank you, God, that you've called us to partner with you, to be your hands and feet, to be your church, and to see others receive the miracle of eternity that we've received. Fill us with power. Fill us with gratitude. Fill us with a sense of faith for today, in Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you, make sure you read the notes in your email if you've not yet. And uh, be encouraged that today is a day full of moments and opportunities. 
in Jesus' name. We love you and we'll see you soon. God bless.